Good day guys, nice to have you here. Argus just got its revamp release on the original server. And a lot of people, especially those who play him as their main hero, expressed uh, their uh, negative remarks on the revamp. Last time I played Argus on the original server was 2017. However, I did make dozens of experiments with item builds and strategies revolving around Argus on the original server, especially when he got the revamp. Today, I will discuss some tips on how you can improve your game with Argus and I will share everything that I know based on my findings and based on my trials with him. In my opinion, the Assassin Emblem with Killing Spree is the best emblem for Argus right now. It gives him the ability to kill streak mid clash and even escape. This emblem is also best for hit and run tactics due to the movement speed it provides after each takedown. Plus that nifty HP regen a la Strigware is a good ability to have as well. And of course, for the battle spell, I chose Sprint, due to obvious reasons. If you're playing Argus, I really don't recommend focusing on critical and attack speed items alone. The revamped version of Argus works best when you have burst, critical, and attack speed items at the same time. Try to come up with a balanced build with all three stats in mind. And of course, as always, your build should be relative based on what your enemies are. Always remember, counter building wins games. Before we continue, I want to give my shoutouts to Vincent Navareo, Ekimaru, Sanjay Gosh, Arnold Barbarona, Sarov Gosh, Gerald Lloyd De Leon, and Ralph Bessinho. In addition to that, we also have Argus Rush, Dramatic, Flame, Simple PJ, SkyJ TV Official, and The Melee Boy. And same as myself, they too host YouTube channels, so make sure to give them some love, alright? Due to the recent changes, Argus build has been changed significantly. I normally would start a game with either Demon Hunter Sword or Berserker's Fury. I choose Demon Hunter Sword if the enemy team comprises of nukers or burst heroes. By having Demon Hunter Sword early, I'll be able to increase the time I spend taking down minions and objectives due to the regeneration it provides. The longer time you spend on the battlefield, the faster you will level up and the more gold you will earn. On the other hand, if the enemy team comprises of heroes that does not deal heavy damage early on the game, I'll start with Berserker's Fury. This will allow me to bully them and play aggressively. Take advantage of your malice energy as much as possible. Only start an attack or a gank once your malice energy is filled up. That way you'll be able to use it twice within a short period of time. The malice energy is the red bar below his HP bar. This is the reason why it's ideal for you to have a balanced build. His new passive deals a total damage of 260% which relies on his total physical damage. This passive scales amazingly well especially on the late game. In addition to that, this revamp doesn't rely too much anymore on straightforward attacks and spontaneous slashes as well. Instead, play with your skills well and take advantage of Argus' new and improved mobility with the help of his first skill. Use his first skill to taunt enemy heroes, dodge enemy attacks, steal objectives, chase down faraway targets, switch lanes, and mislead skill shots. Like I told you guys, Argus now relies more on strategy and tactics rather than brute force and pure attack speed. His first skill now pulls the target much closer than before. Use this skill well. Since the camera shifts with your hero's movement, the pulling effect isn't too obvious. In reality though, it pulls enemy heroes quite well. The pulling distance measures roughly around or about 1 8 of Franco's hook. Here, watch carefully. And since his first skill has been revamped, it also became one of the best escape skills available on the game. These are some of Argus' core items. Hunter Strike is one of the most important items for Argus. He benefits a lot from the stacking movement speed. In addition to that, it provides a huge physical damage increase of 80 points. 
a cooldown reduction of 10%, and best of all, physical damage penetration of 15 points. In addition to Berserker's Fear and Demon Hunter Sword, Scarlet Phantom is also one of his core items. This item has perfect synergy with Berserker's Fury. Also, it's your main engine for triggering fast attack speed. And of course, let's not forget about Blade of Despair. In the past, some people ignored this item when playing Arcus. On the revamped version though, Blade of Despair is built together with the items I mentioned earlier. And when you do, Argus has the potential to one-shot Squishes with his fully charged passive. At one point, I was able to reach a total critical damage of more than 4,000 with this build. Also, it provides him 5% movement speed, which is obviously a necessity for Argus. Show yourselves, you foolish beings. Let's go back to his first skill. I love taunting enemy heroes with it. Sometimes if they're tilted enough, they will waste their ultimate on you. I am the, the new Argus should never be played with recklessness in mind. Remember that unlike the original version, this version no longer speeds up his malice energy gain when low in HP. What Moonton did is they equally spread the speed whether his HP is full or not. If you guys haven't noticed, even without attacking or even without receiving damage, my malice energy gets filled up fast within seconds. Unlike the old version wherein it will take about one minute before it gets filled up passively. Again, keep this in mind in order to become better with playing the new version of Argus. Number one, take advantage of his improved mobility. Number two, always make it a point to build a balance of burst, attack speed, and critical items. Number three, let or allow your malice energy to get filled up first before initiating a gank. Number four, Use his first skill to manipulate the decisions of the enemy team. Again, it can be used to juke, chase, lock onto the enemy heroes, crowd control, escape, and best of all, use it to force the enemy heroes on wasting their skills, especially their ultimates. And finally, number five, don't be reckless. That concludes our Mobile Legends content, and as always, I thank you all so much for watching. After playing him on that ranked game, I am now inclined towards having Argus as one of my main heroes. So, do expect more content with Argus in the future. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.